Hey guys, Mujike here. Just wanted to talk about some of the updates that have been announced today. Um, for one, we do get Cat to our Dunes this weekend, and uh, obviously we all like this. We all like stocking up on these metal Gigantors. The, one of the differences this time is that we actually aren't going to be too conflicted. I mean, you can farm the Final Fantasy XIII event as much as you want, but for myself and for some others, um, there's not a whole lot we want to farm up for in that event. So I can actually use my energy on giant cactors or gigantors um, without feeling guilty about it. That depends on your situation, of course. And, you know, obviously you want to clean out King Mog's shop before you do that because um, it's more stamina efficient, I think. But i um, very excited about that. New trial boss. This is a twin-headed dragon coming. We don't know a whole lot about the boss, or at least I don't, but um, one cool thing about it is that the prize is going to be a um, really strong helmet for your tank. Not only is 45 defense really good, but it also nullifies these uh, status ailments. And it boosts an additional, I think, 20% defense when equipped with heavy armor. So as if Cecil wasn't tanky enough or Warrior of Light, you're now going to have a much tankier, more defense on your tank. Um, with this Grand Helm, it won't work on certain uh, tank characters like Snow, unfortunately, which is one of his drawbacks, but um, for most tank users, it's going to be a very good um, piece of equipment there. Hanging Edge, um, yeah, I guess this is kind of um, obvious and a lot of people expected this, but the second half of the Final Fantasy XIII banner will be coming our way on Friday instead of... Um, Saz, Snow, and Vanille being featured. Um, we'll have Hope, Lightning, and Fang. Now, what they t generally uh, tend to do is they have two um, banners that you can pull for at any given time, but this banner on Friday will take over as far as the uh, daily 250 lapis pulls. So um, those will pull from this um, banner instead of the uh, previous one, but you can still pull on the previous one if you want. Um, that's my guess anyway. I would be shocked if it didn't do that. So um, what's notable about this banner? Well, everybody knows about Lightning. She's already like the mega unit that everybody wanted and a lot of people got, not myself, unfortunately, but um, she's still, I would say, tied for the best damage dealer we have in global, kind of like 1A, 1B situation with Lunith. But um, yeah, let's get into the other characters that you might not know more about. Um, first, we'll start with um, Hope. Now, Hope is actually a pretty um, good five-star mage. If we weren't squarely into six-star meta and all this stuff, then I think more people would be more interested about him. And he tends to be pretty good in other games, but unfortunately, because he's only five stars um, and doesn't come with any kind of dual casting, uh, he's going to be overlooked for sure. But as you can see, he has um, fairly decent stats for a mage. 100 attack um, is higher than usual for a mage, and then 116 magic is really good. Um, he's able to equip rods and staffs, which is typical, but he also can equip throwing weapons because that's how he is in the game. And um, if you happen to farm it up in this event, he has this exclusive um, throwing weapon here. Tezcatlipoca, Tezcatlipoca, wow, that's a tough name. Um, what's interesting about this is that it has a decent attack, I guess, 65, and it makes you tankier at 20% HP, but does not give you magic, so that's a little bit quirky. Um, he has good passives here, MP plus 20%, defense 20, magic 20. Again, odd, he has a physical AoE. This is like what you would find on Lightning or Lunith, but... Um, yeah, it's kind of strange because he doesn't have attack passives. He doesn't have a way to make himself really good at attacking unless you, you know, deliberately try to make him that way with like two Rising Sun TMs or something like that. His magic is pretty useful. He has Isuna, uh, all the Aga spells, like literally all of the elements except for Earth. Like he doesn't have Stonga, but he has uh, Eroga, Wadaga, which is a little bit more rare. Uh, D-Shell, I guess that would be useful in certain situations where you're 
a mage team and you want to let the other mages do a whole lot more damage. But if he's the only mage that you're using, that's kind of a waste of a turn for only 20% extra. Uh, and then he has Rays, which is, um, you know, obviously useful. He's kind of like a, I would say, improved version of Terra, although he doesn't have Cura. But still, I mean, he has a lot of Aga spells to cover for that. And his Limit Burst is really good. Um, basically, even at level 1, 2.7 with Ignore Spirit 50%, this is better than Ultima which is a 25% ignore here and a 2.8. So this is effectively a 5.4 multiplier and it's AoE. So that's a really good limit burst. This could have been a really good character and he still could be if he gets a six star, but unfortunately he doesn't. And in Japan right now, he uh, is still a five star. He has a rating of 80. So, you know, he's competent, but without that six star, he's not gonna be anything special. Fang is a Dragoon, and in some ways is better than Kane, in some ways not as good. Uh, in a nutshell, Fang is, um, comes with a better skill set, but doesn't have as much single target damage due to passives and things like that. Uh, she can equip um, daggers, short sword, or regular swords, katanas, and spears. The exclusive equipment is pretty good. Calamity Spear, 75 plus um, attack. And it has Wind Element, which, um, you know, if you have other kinds of spears that are neutral, you could use those in certain cases. But, um, you know, sometimes you want that element attached and, you know, it gives you a little extra damage in some cases. And it also comes with the ability Arrow Blitz, which is a pretty good AoE attack here. 1.9 physical damage to all enemies. Uh, I think that's the same ability that Lightning has, actually. So that's nice to have. So as you would expect, she has jump, but she has also, also these element attached things. Um, these are kind of the single target uh, elemental attacks that Lightning has. Um, high jump, area blast, nice AoE here. And then Lady Luck gives you a nice passive. So. Actually, you know what? I think he, I'm, I think Fang might just be better than Kane in pretty much every way. I mean, she has plenty of attack passives. She has a lot of AOE, which Kane doesn't have. She has elemental attacks, which Kane doesn't have. So, if you're still using Kane um, or you like dragons in general, this is a really good five star dragoon. In Japan, she's only rated a 76, but um, I don't know. Perhaps she doesn't have some of the Lady Luck, maybe that's a global exclusive? I'm not sure. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. Actually, I might check on that right now because I don't want to have a bunch of people commenting and correcting me because I'm always wrong about something, unfortunately. So let's take a look in global. And it's kind of obvious what the next banner was going to be because, I mean, all the the gear was in the shop already. So, all right, so let's see here. Calamity Spear is her exclusive spear. Is there anything else? I don't know, maybe it's not bought in the shop, but I'm just kind of confused right now why Fang is rated lower than Kane in in Japan, from what I can tell, she's better, and she also has Dispel, which is useful, especially in this event. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, there was, I was a little distracted with um, people outside my office, but um, so Lightning is, you know, has been around for a while. People are very familiar with her, but basically, what makes her really good is, first of all, she's six star. She has good stats. Um, her and Lunith are the only two units in Global right now that have innate dual wield and dual wield is obviously like a game changer it makes you super powerful she has really good weapon selection and a lot of these weapon choices actually have good tms associated with them so um excalibur um sakura fabuki even the gun ramadan i think that's what it's called gunner um other kinds of spears so she has a lot of good choices very good elemental coverage. I'm not gonna go too in depth because everybody already knows this stuff. Attack passives, AOE, 
Uh, Crushing Blow is kind of her main single target attack. Not the greatest thing in the world for a six star, but 2.7 is okay. And decreases lightning resistance for three turns. So you can maybe follow that up with like a, I don't know, Electric Blitz, if that enemy happens to be weak to it or something. Um, she has counter, just like Lunith. And one thing that's annoying in Arena, at least, is that she's actually able to um, basically dodge 30% of attacks. She does not have some of the status resistances that Lunith has, so that's one trade-off there. But yeah, she has um, dual wield and a lot of elemental coverage and AoE options, so that's what makes her so great. Um, she is a base 5-star, obviously going to be very tough to pull, but um, I don't know, I might do daily pulls for it. The Aurora Scarf is actually not that good. It's just um, a two-hit normal attack, which is very much like the Twin Lance or, or something like that, but it does not carry over to your ability, so it's not really that great. Um, Hope's TM is the um, is a throwing weapon. Now, this one actually does have a lot of magic attached to it, 51 attack and 82 magic, so this would be the throwing weapon that you want for him if you were to use Hope rather than that global exclusive one in the shop which makes no sense because it has no magic attached to it. This is what you'd want. And then um, Fang, Equip Spear, I mean, not that great. I mean, situationally useful. If you have uh, good characters that have terrible weapon selection, like a Cloud of Darkness, uh, but in general, this is not something you'd want to farm up or get a whole bunch of Fangs for. So anyway, that's my coverage of the updates. And um, should you pull? Generally not. But if you really want lightning, definitely is worth it. Uh, there's going to be a lot of lightning friends that you can now use and get bonuses for, for the gears. So that's good. But um, overall, not a, a pretty lackluster banner. Pretty lackluster event. And I'm more excited about the Gigantors than I'm going to farm up. <laughs> so anyway, um, take care.